What's up guys, my name is Luke and today I have a very exciting video for you guys, shopping for fake cleats on dhgate.com. Last time I brought you shopping for fake cleats on eBay, we purchased these, the horrendous plus 11 mercurials. Uh, this video is going to be a similar concept. I'm going to be going through dhgate.com and showing you guys a bunch of shoes for sale on the site. And in the end, I'll have you guys vote in the comments for which pair I'm going to buy. Then once they come in the mail, I'll do a review just like last time. Uh, first up, I want to show you guys how I was introduced to the website dhgate. As I normally do, I was scrolling through Instagram and an advertisement popped up for the website. And let me just say, it was horrendous. Alright, so first off, I'll leave some pictures from the ad here and here. So you can see the shoes being advertised in it. Then I'll read a short blurb so you can see what DHgate is all about. It says, We're a professional leading shoes wholesaler in China provides various kind of brand sports shoes, basketball shoes, running shoes, and casual shoes with real competitive prices. Also, we can say for many years, experience helped to control our products, qualities, in very good condition, and make sure the order delivery to your door smoothly, period. All buyers would have quality and return refund guarantee from our shop. Thank you in advance for purchase with us. So obviously there was a couple of grammatical errors in there, um, but as you can see, it's going to get a whole lot worse on the website. And as you've been seeing from the pictures uh, here and here, this video is going to be a lot of fun and I honestly can't wait to get into it. Without any further ado, let's get right onto dhgate.com and I'll show you guys some of the fake soccer cleats for sale on the store. So I'm doing face cam on the camera over here and then just screen recording on my computer so hopefully it looks good and lines up. Uh, now we're on dhgate.com and as you can see it looks like kind of a knockoff eBay in my opinion. And that's what it pretty much is, it basically sells fakes in most things. Obviously I'm going to be sticking towards soccer cleats because that's what I do. And here is the website itself. I'm going to start out with this pair on top, the What The Mercurials. They look pretty low quality. They do look better than the Plus 11s, in my opinion, quality wise. Um, something else you'll notice is they can't actually say the word Nike towards the heel section, so they've taken out the E. Um, that's something they do, I believe, only on the website so they can legally get away with selling it. Uh, as you guys should know from the Plus 11 video, you can't legally have the branding of Nike or the word Nike on a shoe, at least on the website. I think they get around this by sending you the actual pair. Like the ones you get in the mail actually do have the word Nike, but just on the website, so you can legally get around it. Uh, then you can see a bunch of other colorways, and it's kind of the same thing for that. This is a pair of Magistas. They've added that extra little swoosh on the Nike sign. Again, I'm pretty sure that's only for the website, but it looks pretty ridiculous. And they have a bunch of different colors, most of which are real. And then you come to these, which don't really fit. It's a pair of all gold Ace 16.1 uh, Pure Controls. But that's kind of the stuff you can see on the website, and these are for sale for $43 up to $51, bucks, which is more expensive than the Plus 11s, so you'd expect them to be a little bit better quality. Um, but who knows? We won't know until we get a pair. Alright, up next, let's take a look at these Tiempos. They look like Tiempo Legend 6s, and they have a bunch of colorways, a lot of which are authentic men's and women's. Uh, the colorways are... What's actually kind of weird is they're available for anywhere between $17 and $40. So if you buy in bulk, all right, so if you buy more than 10,000 pairs of these, they're available for $17.19. I don't know about you guys, but that's probably the perfect way of spending $170,000 is on these fake tiempos. I mean, a house, 10 cars, it's a waste. Buy these and you're good to go. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Alright, here is another pair of these being the Adidas Nemesis 17 Plus that just came out. And if you look at the pictures, something interesting you might notice. So basically, they have a lot of authentic pictures of the Nemesis and they've just kind of drawn in the little thing in between the three stripes to make it legal. And actually, funny enough, this picture right here, I've literally used this for a giveaway before. Soccer Loco and I did a giveaway on these shoes probably a month ago and they actually sent me that picture. And I'll put it right here. You can see I have our logos on and everything. And here it is on THGate, so small world, right? Uh, and then you have Roberto Firmino, obviously wears these. He doesn't wear the actual Adidas ones because he's licensed by this company, not Adidas or anything. And those are priced anywhere from 35 bucks up to 50 bucks. Uh, but I'm assuming again that's wholesale, so probably 50 bucks for a pair. All right, now I want to check out some Copa fakes here on the website. And these are kind of funny because they have just a big black square where the logo is supposed to be on the three stripes. Uh, that's pretty bad. You have a bunch of authentic colorways. I believe all of those have actually been colorways in the past. These are priced from 27 bucks up to 34 which is actually super cheap. And I do actually think, I'm pretty sure with this one, the three stripes are going to be on the shoe, but again, they're covered up for the website. 
All right, this pair has literally no branding on them, so I'm gonna put them in the video. It's the 99G FG, new football boots, cheap soccer boots, men's, it goes on and on. Uh, but basically, this is a play on the old 99 gram F50. Uh, none of the colorways are legit, except this one kind of looks like the launch one. They're not very nice. Uh, these go from anywhere between 42 bucks up to 49. I'm gonna do one more now, and I'm gonna end with a doozy. All right, I'm gonna round off the video with some fake Mercurial Superfly 4s, which people always seem to enjoy. The main reason I chose these is because of this specific colorway right here. Uh, take a look at them, guys. Uh, basically, this is a colorway that's never been made, and they look wild and pretty horrendous, in my opinion, at least. Well, there you have it. Those are six of my picks from DHgate. Again, comment the pair you want me to buy down below. In a week or two's time, I'll go through, pick the top comments out, and purchase a pair for review in the future. Again, guys, I do actually really enjoy making these videos. And before I end this one, I want to do one more thing. Take a look at some of the comments, so I'm an informed shopper. I've put a few of the best, and before I get into it, let me just say, a lot of them actually are pretty positive. Uh, the general consensus is that there's a lot of four and five star ratings. I'm gonna read the bad ones, because I'm kind of trashing on the site, but do keep in mind there are some positive ones here. First up we have, I wish I could put no stars. First time use, the sole separated from the shoe. Terrible product. And then you have a picture, and that's kind of the general consensus on a lot of the reviews, is just the poor quality, which, I saw on the plus 11s as a lot of you guys saw as well. Then we have another one that says, is very bad seller, send me damaged shoes. Again, they're damaged. Uh, and we have, the trainers look good, but due to the bad quality of the sole, after wearing them two times, the silver sole cracked, so a lot of money for wearing something that my son can only wear twice. And that's, again, the consensus. Another pair of ripped shoes and the sole plate. And then lastly, probably the weirdest review on the whole site, Fabulous kangaroo skin cleats, and then this picture. I don't know why, that one just really freaks me out, but... Whatever guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you do enjoy this, please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, I'm Luke, and I'll see you next time. Peace out guys.